Hey everybody, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to show you. Previous video, I was showing you how to basically do a uh, tr pairs trading with a, uh, 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 an Excel worksheet workbook that we can build uh, from uh, the previous day's closing. Uh, in this video, what I've done, I've taken the same set of code and extended it to do two things. First, to demo uh, the ability of uh, using interactive brokers, as you can see here through the TWS, or the Trader Workstation software. Um, so that's all ready to go. And then, of course, uh, using SQL Server. Now, what we're doing here is we're doing two things. So I've shown something like this before. We've got this little executable or C Sharp program, and it does the same thing as I've shown in the previous video. It does all the uh, execution of generating and building the Excel spreadsheet. So here, when it figures the trading signal, buy, sell, or exit, what's going to happen is it's going to put an order uh, through the TWS, this software here, and at the same time, it's also going to uh, insert into a table uh, in my database uh, called here Financial Demo. And we've got a table here called Real-Time Position and uh, it's empty right now, um, but uh, let me just show you. This is, of course, the SQL Server 2012. Um, C SQL Server 2012, uh, SQL Server Studio, sorry, let me start again. SQL Server Management Studio. So as you can see, I just did a select star uh, statement on the uh, table, real-time position, it's empty. Okay, so let us fire up our little program and it works no different than before. The only difference, as I said, it's going to go out and start inserting data or into, into the data in the database as well as the um, interactive brokers. So uh, those beeps are the cell. As you can see, there's a cell um, that we wanted to put through. I believe it's Ford. Uh, it's working on the next one. So here's the second uh, order coming through. Uh, and uh, at the same time, there should be data and there's a third sale. So that's all working cool. Um, and let's see if there's data. And there is data. Okay, so as I said, this is Lazy Man's programming. Uh, I'm just putting in a minimalist amount of information in here. Uh, what you'll find here is uh, the date, the current time of the order. ID I can put in myself. I keep those null. I'm not really inserting, but I would at some point. Uh, maybe the broker order. Uh, it's one of the advantages with this type of system. We could route this through interactive brokers. Or we could all, uh, all, um, route it through an alternative uh, broker if we chose and we have access to the uh, API to that broker and create our own adapters for this type of system. So then of course, we're uh, sending out tickers of uh, GM, Coke, and HPQ. Uh, order type, uh, just let's say sales. I don't know, we set it at two for the code of two being a sale or sell. Uh, quantity, I did a fixed uh, quantity of five. Now, the other thing is, just so people understand, is that I'm just right now focused only on strategies and uh, forecasting modeling uh, strategies. I'm not caring about things like risk management and the size of the positions that I open up on. These are all fixed. This is, like I said, the quick and dirty lazy man's way of getting it. All I care about is just showing you the basic mechanics. That everything's working as it should. But again, because I give my members uh, all this uh, source code, they can easily uh, pre-fill all this data that they want at full control. My intention over time, once I get past my uh, strategy process of all the strategies I want to develop, and then run it through a shakedown, see what works, then I'll start worrying about things like risk management and uh, position management. Uh, so again, the rest of these um, uh, columns or fields are null. And uh, as I said, I'm only putting in the uh, minimal amount of info. So we got the price as well, which is the previous uh, day's uh, close. So there you got it. It works. Uh, I'm going to put this in the can for now. Uh, if this strategy, pairs trading strategy, proves itself in the comparison with all the other strategies I want to run against, I'll definitely finish this off and uh, go from there. But again, the source code for um, 
the uh, everything here that you see is available through my membership. That's including uh, my C sharp code. This here, uh, most importantly, the schema for the database here. So you have uh, all the different types of very simple tables, daily data, real time data, real time position, tick data, so on and so forth. Um, so that's part of the membership. We give all that source code away. And um, yeah, the other thing is just so people know, this, as you can see, it's a demo system. This, this Interactive Brokers TWS session is not live. It's a demo system. Uh, so we can do everything now. Uh, generate the Excel worksheet, process the order, depending upon the trading signal, and insert that same order into a real-time position table in our database. Exciting. I, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully you will too, and talk to you later, and you know where to get the source code over and out.